Hi guys, good to have you all back. It is day 71, I need a breather. I really do. So I'm going to do a relaxing video today. Project for today is going to be a scrap buster. Let's call it a scrap buster. I want to use lots of scraps, lots of envelopes, make something pretty. Don't know what yet. This is going to be a go with the flow sort of uh, video. So um, I have some supplies on my desk, but I might add some more because you know me. Let me show you um, what I'm using today and then let's start creating. For supplies, obviously I'm using scraps. I have decided guys, I'm using all sorts of scraps except for digitals. I'm not using digitals in this one. Just, you know, the real book pages, vintage one, antique ones, maybe some wallpaper. I don't know. Paper, paper, but not digitals. Of course, envelopes. Now, um, if you've seen last Sunday's video with my huge envelope haul, or you're still watching it because it was 17 and a half hours long, <laughs> you know that I have a lot, a lot of envelopes now. These are the ones that I didn't find that interesting. I just want to create with them. Most of them have um, windows on them. So windowed envelopes doesn't need to be windowed envelopes, guys. Just any envelope. And that's sort of the basics. Then I'm going to use the staples, of course. Glue, scissors, uh, ruler, what have you. Um, I am mainly going to use glue stick. Yeah, probably not um, art glitter glue or barely art. Also not the collage medium. I decided I just want to do glue stick. Because, you know, everyone, everyone has glue stick. Um, for uh, bits and bobs. At the moment, I'm really into hardware. I don't know why. I'd, I probably want to use some eyelets or some brads and such. Probably, yes. Uh, because I'm, I am using envelopes, I want this to have sort of a postal theme. If that makes any sense. So I took out uh, this stamp set from Tim Holtz Correspondence. I might do some stamping. I'm going to use um, poster stamps, real poster stamps. Because I also have a gazillion of those. Yeah. Um, if I'm going to do stamping, I'm going to use colors that you find on envelopes. And most of these are blue or red. So blue or red. And for the stressing, I'm using frayed burlap. Anything else? A washi tape. Probably some washi tape. Yeah, most likely. Is that it? That's it. Other than that, no clue. A label or two. Probably a label or two. No clue. So I'm going to go... Um, through the envelopes, pick some lovely ones out and then fold them and see and see where we land. I've picked out three sizes of envelopes. The idea was to do something with all of them. Well, in individually, but now that I look at it, uh, let's do a flippy floppy thingy. Let's do a flippy floppy thingy. Yeah, this is going to be the base. So I actually want to make sort of a pocket here that you can still see the window. Like so. How big is this? One, two, three, four, five, six inches. Well, a little bit less than six inches it is now. Yes. Then I want to sort of wrap this around over here. I'm probably going to make this one shorter. Yeah. Wrap this around. I'm going to fold this in half. Not in half because I want the whole window on there. The window needs to be on the front. Does that work? Almost, love. Almost. Almost. There you go. <laughs> okay. So the window is going to be on the front. This is going to be on the back. And it's going to be a pocket. And shall we have this as sort of a flip up? We could. We could. Yes. Not certain about this one yet. Oh, we can put this in here, right? Oh, yeah. It'll be fine. I'm going to put this in here and have this as a sort of a, a flip up. Does that work? Mm, there's a very small sort of hinge now, but I think it might work. I think this might work. Yes, it's going to here, here, here. And then this is going to go here. Yes. Flippy, flappy, floppy. This is not going to flap open. This is going to be a real pocket with 
pocket here and then oh yes yes it's going to be lovely okay three envelopes made a flippy flappy of the three envelopes yes now before i glue everything down i really need to start uh decorating i need to make this a little bit shorter and um first do something on the inside behind the windows yeah i think i think that's the right way to go about it yeah i'm going to cut this um envelope down first i'm going to want to make this into a more shallow pocket so that you can see the other window also I think I am going to fold this one a little bit further and then make this flap shorter because um, it's too... I just want to have this... No, oh, you cannot have it on a page because it has a flappy oppie. I don't need to make it shorter. Don't need to make it shorter. Well, I'm going to make this short because I want to see more of the window. So I'm going to take off an inch and then glue it back down again. Guys, because it's not... Well, you can make it in a two double pocket if you wanted to. Thinking about it. Thinking about it. Okay, so this needs to go first. There you go. Then this needs to go. And let's see, I'm just taking off quite a bit actually. So this is going to be sort of a shallow pocket, but I really want to see the other window um, on the envelope. There you go. Two layers, please. Thank you. There's a lovely blue on the inside. Yeah, look at that. Cool. Might use it. Might use it. Don't think so, but I might. So, this one. See, now there's two windows here. That's what I like. Yeah, and then this is going to be on the other side. Are we going to make this a bit smaller? Are you? Are you going to take a bit off? Yeah. Just going to take this part off. Two layers, please. Thank you. There you go. There you go. It goes here, here, here. Yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. There's going to be sort of a closure thingy here. Yeah, so that you can close it up. This will flip up. This is going to be a real pocket. So you can put something here. Do we also want to put something here? Yes, probably. We probably do. Yeah. But first, guys, the trickiest part, which is to glue something behind the window. It's behind here. Behind here. And, well, this is open now, so we have lots of room here. Yes, I do like this color in the background. Well, I actually like this color in the background as well. So I might just decorate it partially and leave some of the blue. Let's take out my scraps. Starting with the smallest piece. Let's just start with the smallest piece. Okay, well, that is nice and blue. Can we do something with this in the back? Just, you know, sort of strip, leave some of the blue. Wow, why not? Why not? Um, this is the part that is sort of sticking out, left over. I'm just going to take this off. And let's just see which part is interesting. Well, maybe just the top part. Maybe just the top part. Just going to rip a piece. actually also want to leave some of the blue a bit Let's sort of like so yes do you want a tearing ruler do you want sort of a little bit grungy maybe if I can find my tearing ruler. Or we need to just rip it. Well, no tearing ruler inside. So I'm just going to rip it. Are we inking it? Probably not. Probably not. I want a bit more of this, of course. Yeah. 
keeping this guys this is very unusual paper it's actually from a, a flight manual instruction book uh from my husband tim oh yeah that is way better yes i'm just gonna have this in here and then uh, something else oh i might find um is that in here no these are stickers these are stickers oh that's lovely i might find an airmail a real airmail sort of sticker right yeah i need a glue page well that's been a while since i needed a glue page yes i'm gonna have an airmail sticker on here a real one while i'm gluing this down i'm trying to remember where, where i keep them because i don't know anymore guys don't glue on the window okay yes are we going to put like paper all around or just some strippies and then some uh sort of distressing and some stamping i think so i think so i was thinking about covering everything with paper but why let's just do what eva does she never covers everything with paper she just distresses it uh, distresses it and then does some stamping and some bits and bobs here and there so that's what i'm gonna do um i'm gonna take out a brush and this one now i definitely do not want to have ink on my window so i'm just doing sort of this Just some grunching up. Also over here. Yeah. I am going to cover this. I'm going to cover this one up. Guys, for sure. That's sort of a harsh line here. So I'm going to need, I need to put something there. Yeah. For sure. Okay. Post the stamps. I want a lovely blue poster stamps. Well, the first one that I see, this one. Yeah, she's gonna have her sort of like so. Oh, I'm gonna go all sort of crooked today. Not all straight lines, wow. Well, uh, be adventurous, love, be adventurous. I'm going to put this on over here. That will cover up sort of the harsh lines. There's not a sort of harsh line here, but you know, that's okay. I'm going to take out one of the stamps to have something here and here. Um, post office. Yeah. I think I'm going to do blue, of course, because there's already so much blue on here. It looks purple. It isn't. It's blue. <laughs> See? Blue. There you go. Now it says post office. Oh yeah, I forgot. These um, are very, very juicy. I'm going to leave them over here for now. And uh, what else? Handle with care? Or correspondence address only? Okay, love. Now gently tap it, because you know, these are juicy. Tada! Tada! I'm quickly going to get one of the, the vintage airmail labels. I have some somewhere. Let me get one. I found them. They were not even far. I was walking all the way to the other side of my room when I was thinking, light bulb moment. I think they're right beside you. And they are. And they are. Well, I have three of these, so that means I can use one of them, right? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Let's see if I can get one out. Yes. 
Oh, it's going to be so cool. So cool. Okay. Just some glue stick. I'm going to put this. Again, a little bit crooked. The other side around. There you go. In there. Yes. 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 Needs a little something. A little something. Oh, it needs a number, of course. Or this one. Have I ever used this one? Not yet. Love, careful. Just dip it once. Enough. That's enough. Yeah. I'm also going to do it. Lovely. Let it dry. I'm going to let it dry. Okay. Um, shall we do the back side? I, I inked it, guys. I inked all around it. And also inked here. So we need to do something on the inside. Because this is going to be a flippy thingy. And a little something here on the bottom. Shall we just use another one of this strip? Because we really like it. Yes. Yes, I'm going to. Still have not found my tearing ruler. No, so I'm going to use my manual tearing ruler, also known as fingers. Yes. I'm going to have this one on here. A little bit too long. There you go. With some stamping in the back. First some stamping in the back. I'm going to do this one. It has lots of whatever on it. One dip. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Inky fingers already. But it does look lovely. Yeah. And then with another sort of postal stamp. Yeah. Messy desk. That was upside down. Do not do it upside down. No. I'm doing stuff crooked. That is adventurous enough for me. <laughs> Oh, look, yes. Maybe I need just blue nail polish. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. Um, Another blue one. Not the same. Probably have more. Oh, yes. This says two. These are very old. These are very old Dutch um, poster stamps. Yes. That works perfectly, but it needs something behind. Like this. You're gonna keep with the red, love. Uh, the blue. You're not gonna do any red. Apparently not. And there, and there. Ooh, love, love it. Don't dip your glue <laughs> in the ink. You know, love is just a suggestion. Yes, you could try, but I bet you it's not gonna look lovely. There you go. Yeah. So that's on the inside. No, that's the pocket on the back. Now for the inside. More of this paper. That's too straight. That's too straight. Just rip a piece. Just rip a piece. Going to do sort of the same. You want some stamping there? No. Well, yes. Let's do airmail here. And another one of these. Because it's on there. So, yes. Some here. Some there. And then a little bit of airmail. Here. And... 
here. That's okay because that's going to be glued down. Yeah. So I'm just going to be on top here. What is it that we need? Something there. Well, we have loads, so... Letter. Oh, use airmail. Yes, that's it. Of course, I need another post stamp or another one of these air melt thingies. Sure. These are actually stickers on, uh, well, I could just take them out like so. On a piece of paper. Can I perhaps take them off? I cannot. So I'm just going to rip it. They're a bit newer. Still, that's okay. Yes, let's focus on this one. Um, I, I, I know I have something that is red in here. Oh, yes, here. I've been hoarding this since forever, guys. Yes, this is typed something to do with sewing uh, from a vintage sort of um, notebook. Let's see, how can I get this in here? We want, well, it, it just fits. Shall we do it, the numbers here? Yes, 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 yes. I'm do the whole piece. Oh yeah, great. Now I found my tearing ruler and I need a normal ruler. Yeah, that's that's how it goes. That's life, guys. Yes, that's life. And there you go. I'm just going to have this behind here. Yeah. And then have... Something, something on it. Now, all these pockets that I'm making, they need lovely stuff, of course. Um, <clears throat> but, but I already know I don't have time to make those. So, maybe in another video? Let me know in the comments, guys. Uh, oh, that's upside down. Don't glue it upside down. This is the top, love. Don't glue it upside down. Shall we do another video with making small tags and cards to go in this? left a little bit of room on the top but that's okay something red um do i have red airmail later no probably not these are all blue right oh so beautiful only have one of them not gonna use it not gonna use it however guys yes in my pile of envelopes that i just used i'm coming right back because they were behind me i had one that had um oh well this on here or i thought i had another one oh yes this this i have actually two completely different color red don't care <laughs> this is actually a vintage one guys it's from 1971 are you gonna ruin it well apparently i am apparently i am um, because I just want to use this. Normally, I would take the time to sort of soak it off and then use it again, but apparently, I'm not, I don't have the time for this, so I'm just gonna do it like so. Yeah, it's a real one, it's a real one. Probably gonna use this one as well. Well, maybe on this project, I don't know, or do you want to have it? on there that's also a possibility 
Oh yes, I think I want to have this on the outside. Then I need a post stamp for the inside. More like, oh yes, that's the perfect color red. And it says seven and a half cents. What was the half cents? I mean, I've been around for a while, guys, but I've never used half cents. Did I break it? <laughs> Oh, that was a stupid answer. I am not that stupid, guys. Of course, they didn't break it. Probably there was a cent that says half cents on it. I don't know. Oh, that's actually the perfect color. Yes, this is way too small, of course. Yeah. Okay. Um, we need some inking. And a piece of paper. Let's just use this. This scrappy. Need some inking and then some more stamping, but also some scraps. You were going to use scraps, love. You're just using two pieces and then stamping. This is not a stamping video. This is a scraps video. <laughs> Talking to myself, guys. Yes. Yeah, definitely going to use some um, scraps over this piece. Alrighty then, and apparently something over here. Um, do we want another piece of this? No, no. Do we just want another piece? Do we just want this? Yes. <laughs> I'm just gonna put this on that I just completely sort of, yeah. Are you? Yes. I am however going to use my tearing ruler. How much do we need? Yay much. Yeah. See? Using up scraps. This is actually a very old book page. Another piece here on the top. Without this. A little more inking. Yep. It's going to overlap the window a little bit, guys, but that's okay. That is quite all right. It's actually the complete wrong color. I'm gonna love it forever, but I'm not gonna use it on here. Oh, I have some of this tape. This is from Elizabeth Craft Designs. I'm not going to use happy because happy doesn't make me happy. But this says first class and confidential. Yeah. Yes. But we do need a stamp. No, I'm not going to use the happy. I'm sorry, guys. Words like happy and love and joy, they don't bring me happiness, love, nor joy. <laughs> it's a me thing. I know it's a me thing, but it's a thing nonetheless. Um, where did I put my stamps? Away. You put them away. I need this one. Over here that says handle with care because that will look lovely in red, right? Yes. Handle with care in red. This is blue. Now just in case you didn't notice, that is blue. <laughs> this is red. Again, love. Just tap it twice. Oh yeah. Cool. Do we need another one in the corner there? Mm, number something. That was very poor stamping. That's okay. Sometimes smudgy is nice. Yes, something here on the bottom. Don't know what. Well, I know what. Another poster stamp, but then... 
sort of half on it. No. These are more orangey. I want a red one. That's a Christmas one. Ooh. Juliana. And there you go, lovey. Tip, if you want to glue, take the cap off first. Yes, I know, very philosophical, you're right. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I cannot flip it over, so I need to cut it. And because this is a flip up, I really need to uh, do the back as well. So, yes, front. It's done. My telephone needs to have like a warning button every time I press slow motion instead of a video. So I'm sorry, guys. Uh, yes, I put on some stamps. So no biggie. No biggie. Let's try this again. Yes, I took out uh, some lovely scrap. This is actually the back of this uh, flip up. We're going to do something similar, guys. It's a flip up. So flip it up first and then glue everything from this side. Yeah, because otherwise everything will be upside down. Did that happen to you? Well, once or twice. Once or twice. I'm using um, train scheduling paper. What? Train scheduling paper. Yeah. It's a little bit vintagey. This is from the, from the 80s. Yes, 80s is vintage. I know. I did not come up with this, ladies. Yeah. So, yes, I'm also vintage. And this is a small piece of a vintage envelope. The inside. Just the inside of it. I'm making a quick sort of layered collage. Yeah. Then I have a beautiful piece of very old paper. Just a strippy. Just going to put strippy on. Here. I actually wanted this to be underneath here. But we are using glue stick, so yes, I can move it about for a bit. And then just this goes on here. This is probably a coffee dyed piece of um, fax paper. Yeah, that you have in a sort of a fax machine. Well, when they, you know, used to exist. Then I have a, a Lufthansa airmail sort of thing. A real one. Yes, guys. I'm just going to put it over there. Yes. A piece of this. Because oh, why not? Red poster stamp. And the blue one. Where are we going to put the blue one? There. Then we still need some more stamping. Let's have a word here. Can we have a word? Yes, of course. Mm, correspondence. Let's do the correspondence thing. Right? Yeah, that's cool. In red? Mm, yeah. Let's do red. Yep. Small number here. Small number. Yes. Small number. Blue. Yeah, let's do blue. Let's do blue. Maybe also over here. Yeah. Yes. Just a cute flippy uppy here. Yes, I see it. I see it. I see it, guys. Needs something. Oh, shall we do the arrow thing? Yeah. I have not used any hardware yet. Mm, I might not use any hardware. <laughs> yes. Love it. Well, that's the second envelope. One more to go. And the big one. Okay, um, I crunched it up, guys. It's um, sort of, you know, distressing. 
Uh, first, I want to put a piece behind here. And I was thinking, because, you know, I have more of this strange scheduling paper. Um, that looks interesting, doesn't it? I think it looks interesting. Let's just see. This is very thin paper. It's like sort of Bible paper. I used to use this a lot for uh, collaging. I haven't used it quite some time now. You think this is uh, wide enough? It is. It is. Oh, we do have room. Seems. Also now thinking, needing, uh, need to take in uh, consideration where the pockets and the flips and flaps are going to be. Uh, and also I want sort of a, for this, sort of a closure somewhere. But I'm still thinking about that. Let's just see. This goes. Yes. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, yeah, it yeah, looks cool. I'm sorry for the glare, guys. Yes. Oh, yeah. I like it. Does it need anything else? Probably. Probably something red. Oh, let's do this one. Yes, I'm just going to do this one. Just over there. Cool, right? And it needs, it needs another something. What? Strippy or something. Uh, tape? This or... I have this in blue. Just putting on a strippy of blue. Very eclectic. Yeah. Okay. Guys, I'm going to have this as a pocket. So this is going to be glued down. Of course, I want to do some lovely decorating here. The question is, are we going to have this one as a pocket then as well? And have a notch in. I think I am. Um, I'm going to make a notch. A white one, but a shallow one. Oh yeah, I need to sharpen these. Which is odd because I haven't used these a lot. Now this is visible. So do we want to put the stamp there? I also have these. I also have these. Well, that doesn't show at all. No. So, maybe something else. Oh, let's uh, put a piece of this washi here. Yes. Because this one also has sort of the marks of the postal mark thingies. Oh, let's have it like so. I'm going to put this one somewhere else on this project. Yes. Okie dokie. What more do we want? Oh, let's have some red writing. Oh, yeah, I love that. Uh, are we going to lose? I don't want, do not want to lose that edge. Yeah, that looks cool. Oh yeah, well, just rip it. Just rip it. There you go. Yep. I want to do some blue writing somewhere else. Why not? Just gonna have this in the background and then put something else on top of it. 
Yeah. Well, I've used lots of train scheduling paper before, but never these pages with just the writing on them. So that's a completely new thing to me. Yes. Okay, now this is going to go over here like so. I want something stamped here. Let's just have a looky. I'm gonna do this in red. You probably can hear Daisy snoring in the back again. <laughs> There you go. Yes. What else? We need something here. Well, I'm going to put this one on. And then something red. Like a poster stamp. Let's see. Which one did I uh, haven't I used yet? Yep. Why am I putting it the other way around? Because this one is going that way. If you can put this one that way, just all the same. All the same. So do not want to do this. I'm going to have this stamp there. Just in the corner. In blue. There. Mm, I need a strippy here or something. A strippy of something. Let's see. A strippy of this. Yes. Oops. I don't know about my glue sticks. They all want to join the circus or something. They keep making head rolls and such. Um, little piece of this. Bit of stamping. Letter. Blue. Think there's still ink on here let's just try it i'm gonna put it here in the corner pressing it really hard well there was enough ink on there post-it stamp oh that's too brown too brownish red these are cool these are these are vintage guys but they're not really really old No clue from when, but oh, it looks cool. I'm just gonna put it on. I might have put on a very special stamp, I don't know. It's a clean one as well, it has not been used. So, all you poster stamp lovers out there are probably going freaking out. How could you do this? Well, I just did. I just did. Taking out another stamp. Hmm. I'm gonna have this on somewhere, but apparently not here. Um, needs numbers, right? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. 
in red. There you go. Anything else? Can you hear the bird in the background? It's a very happy bird. He's almost sounds like he's laughing hard. Why is it glued down? Because there's glue on here. That's okay. I think this is it. Well, for this piece, at least. Yeah. Where's my flippy flappy? It's going to go here. And that other one is going to go there. So I need something here and a closure. I just need something here. And I was thinking to put this here. There's one tiny problem. Tiny problem, guys. I'm going to tell you. First, I'm going to rip this. It is too long, so I'm going to take a piece off here. I'm going to let this overlap. Yes. What's the problem, Margaret? There's no problem. There is. It says, a day out in Amsterdam? How do I get where and what's the best sort of ticket to buy for a train? I'm not going to have Amsterdam on here. No, so I'm going to cover this up. Now, I am very sorry if you are from Amsterdam and, you know, bothered by this, but I am not. <laughs> and I'm allowed to say it, guys, because actually I am half of me is from Amsterdam because my mom's from Amsterdam. Yeah. And all of her family and my dad's from Rotterdam. And if you didn't know, if you're not from the Netherlands or have not watched any of my videos before, there's sort of an animosity between the two. Yes. Yeah. Well, especially with football. Now, I don't enjoy Well, you call it soccer. We call it football, but you guys actually call it soccer, probably. Yes, and I don't even enjoy sports, especially not soccer. So yeah, I'm just going to have this on here and then stamp a little bit over there. How about this one? In blue, because, because most airmail thingies are in blue. So Just going to use this blue. There you go. Ooh, it looks so cool. Do I want another one? Yeah, I <laughs> want another one. Oh, that one is cool. Never used it. Yeah, I'm going to put one here as well. How about somewhere else? Probably on the back. Probably on the back. Okay. Small red something. Small red something. That's a small red something. Well, it's not red yet, but... Give me a second. Yeah, cool. Really cool. Okay, guys, I'm going to sort of assemble it. Yeah, and then there's a small part here on the back that I still need to decorate. But I think I'm going to put it all together first. Okay, here are all the pieces. Um, am I gluing this down yet? No, because I want to make some sort of a closure. First, I'm going to glue this down. Where? On the back. Yes, over here. I put, just put this big piece of paper there. I'm going to decorate a little bit more. So this is going to be a pocket, yeah? So I'm going to put glue here. Here and and here. Yes. Check the front very quickly. Are we okay? We are. Yes. This is actually a double pocket. Yeah, because there's also an opening here. So double pocket here. Yeah, and then this is going to be glued. As far as possible to this edge. Yeah. Glue this piece down first. Yeah. Okay. Inside the envelope. Can 
Can you hear the crinkle? It's so cool. Yeah. Okay. Now, I was thinking, guys. Um, I've had I have these all these circles that I punched out from another project. I cannot even remember which one, but from a project. I'm going to use the backs of them. Well, of one of them. I'm just going to have it on here so that you can sort of flip this under. But I need to first, well, I'm going to stamp this one on here. Does this fit? Hopefully it does. I think so. First, I'm going to distress it. Yeah. And then the stamping. I think this is a perfect fit. It is. It actually is. Now, do we want do we want to attach this with a brad in the center? Yeah. Yeah, I think we do. I think we do. Hello, Brad. A small one. Do I have a red or a blue one? Oh, I don't know. Uh, let's, I don't think so. These are some colors. We have more colors somewhere. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I'm going to use a red one. Of course. Yeah, it looks cool. Well, hopefully. Hopefully it will look cool. We need room. Everything. Step aside. Step aside. Give the lady some space. Yeah, flip this up. Actually, I need to flip this open. Where is the circle? No, honestly, where's the circle? Where did I put it? <laughs> step aside, step aside. Yes. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Let's mark it first. Let's mark it. You need to have it here. Careful of not go through all the layers. Do not go through all the layers. Just... Just two of them. Did that work? Yeah. No, I went through the bad one as well. Oh, that's okay. It's okay. Make a hole. Make a hole. Now, why did I didn't I glue the pocket shut? Because I want this actually to be inside of the pocket not all the way through otherwise the pocket would be not accessible of course there you go putting tape over it so nothing will get stuck underneath the legs of the tiny bread that we put there there you go oh my do you know what this reminds me of? Like a clown's nose. <laughs> like a red nose. But it does look amazing, doesn't it? Yes, I like it. I like it. <laughs> but it's a clown's nose. I know, I just now realized. Putting this one shut. Yeah, and then here. So this is also a double pocket. This is going to sort of close underneath here. And this is over here. Pocket, 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 pocket. Do you want to make a notch? Not going to make a notch. I'm going to put something here and then we're done. Okay, finishing touches. I want to have this stamp sort of here and then this sort of over it. I'm going to use a red for this one. I have this one straight. Yes. I'm going to have this one like so. It's a real one. Found a real one. I have two of these, so so it was okay for me to use it, I guess. Yeah. Oops. There you go. Now I have this tape. This is this is from Tim Holtz. It's a very old one. And it has this sort of postal um, red and blue sort of markings and I was thinking just to put it sort of like so it's 
bit much, isn't it? Yes. Well, then sort of like so. Yeah, that looks way better. I have a blank space here. Yes. And I wanted to use one of these. Um, yeah, in blue. Oh, it looks so cool, right? On the top? Maybe, maybe on the top. Hmm, then it will be upside down. Uh, I'm gonna do it like so. Yeah? Maybe. Then it just says air. Then it just says air. I'm putting a piece on here. Just because. Just because. Let's see. Yeah. Stamped a little bit here, guys. It just needed a little bit something. I'm not going to do any blue on here. So this is just going to be red, blue, and the other ones are going to be red and blue. I think it's time for the end result. Well, here she is. It was going to be a scrap busting video. How many scraps did you use? Uh, not a lot. But I used uh, three envelopes. Three envelopes. It is, guys. Um, it has a closure here. So you can flip this open. And just look at all the loveliness on, on the back. Um, you can put something in here, yeah? This is a pocket. So, pocket one. Then you have pocket two. Pocket three. Big pocket here. Pocket four. And you flip it over. You have pocket five, it's in between here, with the lovely decoration. Uh, pocket six, because there's actually another pocket here. Do you want to make a notch? Yeah. Can we still get this in between here? See if we can make a notch. Careful, love, careful. There's blue on the inside, right? I think so. Yes. Oh, that looks lovely. Uh, uh, seven? I don't know. I don't know. Two, three, four five six seven pockets seven pockets hello yeah i really liked it really enjoyed making it it's just you know start creating and see where we land love the collage very eclectic yeah guys that's it for today i need seven pieces to go in here let me know are we going to make a video out of this yeah do you want to see it yeah, no, put it in the comments. I'll be back again tomorrow with either the video of making all the cards for this or doing something completely different. <laughs> it's up to you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me today and I'll see you again tomorrow. Until then, bye.